Exclusive Contract from Feilu Novel Network Novel Zong Meng The Strongest Hero on Earth, Join Group Chat Rebirth of the World of Anime Rod has a talent that ordinary people cannot imagine. Lifting Restrictions Every minute and every second is constantly strengthening, tomorrow's self surpasses yesterday's self. I thought he would embark on the invincible and boring path of salty fish like Teacher Chiyu. Unexpectedly, the chat group suddenly appeared. Florian. Do you like the older sister? That's me. Esther. There are too many people here, let's talk about it later. Butterfly Kagami. Why did Ninja come out of your room? March 7th, GZ, it's clear that I came first. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 The Strongest Hero on Earth You are listening at NovelFull.audio Bang! 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 The scorching blue flame elemental energy bombs fell like a rain curtain, and the steel jungle that humans rely on for pride was like rubble in front of these elemental energy bombs, but it was quickly melted away. Ah! It's a weirdo. Run quickly, strange people have appeared. Where are the heroes? Come and save us. Screams, whistles, and the sound of falling debris caused countless people to panic and look at the blue-purple monster in the air. I am a vaccine person, the embodiment of the blue star's will. I'm here to clean up your group of harmful blue star moths, scream and be afraid, and then obediently turn me into powder in fear. Ha! The vaccine person is like a god living in the world, suspended in mid-air with his right hand raised high, and a burst of explosive energy is emanating from his palm, faintly competing with the bright sun behind him. No one doubts that once that energy explodes in City A, most cities could be destroyed. At a time when people are calling for heroes. Two thin but upright figures seem to have been summoned. A dot level hero, smiling superhero. A dot level hero, lightning max. Refer to the above. One red and one black, two A dot level heroes dressed in different colored battle suits soared into the air, leaping to everyone and facing the dragon level monster vaccine man in mid air. It's a hero. The heroes are here. Come on, big brother. Defeat the monster. Our hopes are all entrusted to you, we must give it our all. People trapped in the quagmire, upon seeing the arrival of the hero, seemed to grab a life.saving straw and cheered on the two heroes one after another. But what they didn't know was that the hearts of these two heroes were equally uneasy. This aura is undoubtedly not an ordinary monster, at least at the level of a ghost. Lightning Max looked solemn and vigilant as he watched the vaccinated person. Even the dragon level may not be certain. Smiling Superman's face has no expression, but the heaviness in his tone cannot be hidden. The two of them exchanged a glance and saw determination in each other's eyes. Although they are definitely not opponents of dragon-level monsters. But they are heroes. When everyone is in despair, only they can never give up any hope. We're about to go. Oh. The two of them roared with great momentum and jumped up to launch an attack on the vaccinated person. Lightning Max's explosive kick, smiling Superman's heavy hammer like sword jade bombardment, and the combined force of two A.-level heroes successfully hit the vaccine man in the air amidst everyone's waiting eyes. But it has no effect. Huh, are you two tickling me? The vaccine person laughed wildly and waved casually, as if brushing the dust with ease. Wherever two A.-level heroes come from, they go back. Accompanied by two loud noises, they were directly embedded in the ground by terrifying forces, and their life and death were uncertain. Seeing this scene, everyone was in despair. Can't even A.Level heroes do anything about it. Worms are just worms. Shouldn't we just wait for death honestly? This way, perhaps we can reduce the pain. The super large elemental energy bomb on the right hand of the vaccinated person has already taken shape, 
with a crackling sound spreading throughout the battlefield, causing visible distortion in the air. Die. The elemental energy bomb fell with a loud bang, and a wild heat wave swept across the earth. At this moment, a figure appeared in the field, his hands in his pockets, his clothes rustling in the strong wind, his face hidden under his hood and mask indistinguishable. Faced with a terrifying force capable of destroying Kyoto for half a winter, he exuded a calm and composed demeanor. That's. Everyone's eyes widened, despair faded, and hope for life resurfaced. King. With everyone shouting in unison, the person lifted his right hand from his pocket and casually punched. Hoo 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 hoo. The strong wind howls, and heaven and earth mourn. Wherever the fist wind passes, all things disappear, and even the smallest dust will be split into countless tiny atoms in this storm. The vaccinated person at the center of the fist wind, along with the vitality bullet, dissipated in the wind before even the final sob could be released. The remaining power of the fist did not diminish, soaring straight into the sky. The dark clouds covering the city suddenly pierced a sinkhole, and the golden warm sun shone from it onto the devastated city. This scene contrasts sharply with the embarrassment of the two A.level heroes just now. After a brief silence, the crowd erupted in thunderous cheers. I'm saved. Undoubtedly the strongest hero on earth, he defeated such a terrifying monster with just one punch. Lord King, please sign for me. Lord King, can we have an unbreakable relationship? The desperate people unleashed the excitement of surviving the disaster. When they wanted to find that figure, they found that the main figure had already disappeared. Headquarters of the League of Legends In front of the big screen, countless staff members ran back and forth, making a commotion. The scene only quieted down when the latest news was announced. Alarm lifted, alarm lifted. S.Level Hero King has eliminated the monsters. Is it another punch? This man's strength is really bottomless. Senior, Lord King is so powerful, why is he only ranked 7th? Because in addition to strength, hero ranking also needs to consider the enthusiasm for engaging in hero activities, King's attitude is not very positive. I see so. The crisis was resolved, and the staff behind the scenes of the Heroes Association completely relaxed and chatted with each other. When the vaccinators appeared just now, they were all in a hurry. A city is one of the busiest cities. Once destroyed, countless people will die. Fortunately, the strongest hero on the ground, King, passed by and waved a fist. A city center. The damage caused by the vaccinators just now did not extend here. Rod took off his mask, put down his hood, and then walked out of the deserted alley. A love that never breaks up. Please, big brother, you are a man. Fortunately, I have been hiding my identity all the time during my hero activities, otherwise sometimes encountering such abnormal fans would be quite helpless. Thinking of the Southern Copper just now, Rod's goosebumps all over his body. When registering as a hero, he had anticipated that his life might be affected, so he deliberately concealed his appearance. Now it seems that he is simply too smart. Raising his hand to block the bright sunlight, Rode joined the crowd on the street like a drop of water. Not far from the intersection, the towering square on the big TV still shows footage of a vaccinated person being punched to the bone. Countless pedestrians stopped below, and when they saw King punching, everyone became excited. Lord King punched and killed a dragon-level monster, once again protecting the peace of our city A. Undoubtedly the strongest hero, this kind of strength is really terrifying. It's great to have such heroes guarding us. Long live. Chapter 2. Dimension Chat Group Pure Version. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Amidst the hustle and bustle of the crowd, Rhodes naturally mingled and remained inconspicuous. My thoughts flew back to the past. It has been almost twenty years since I crossed over and now, without realizing it. Both parents died, without a house or sister. 
A very standard start, there's nothing worth mentioning. This world is based on the worldview of One Fist Superman, integrating some daily anime worlds. The Heroes Association is an organization jointly funded by many top conglomerates to cope with the increasingly frequent occurrence of monster disasters. And he, Rod. He is the seventh hero in the S.level ranking of the League of Legends, known as, King. Yes, it is the position that should have been taken by the otaku king in the original work. Now it's Rod's. But unlike otaku king, Rod is a true powerhouse. Perhaps due to the time traveler, the limiters of this world are of no use to Rod. Since birth, his strength has gradually strengthened over time. The ability of Teacher Chiyu, the bald demon king, has been restricted and lifted. In less than three years, Chiyu lifted the limiter and effortlessly defeated the Star Collapse Roar Cannon, which was capable of destroying the Earth's surface, with just one punch. The remaining power also gave the planet a central split. Even if it's just a sneeze, it has the destructive power to destroy the sky and the Earth. And it took nearly twenty years for Rod to lift the limiter. To this day, he doesn't even know how strong he is. But it was an easy task for him to grasp a black hole with his bare hands. Ha! Another boring day, let's go back and play games. Rod lazily yawned. Heaven is fair. He gained invincible strength, but also lost a considerable amount of fun. Many entertainment activities are nothing challenging and meaningless for Rod. Fortunately, these roads didn't care at all. In his past life, he was already a stinky mansion chasing fans and playing games. For his current life, Rod is satisfied with 100,000. I usually follow fans and play games. Occasionally, when there are strange people, I go out and move around to breathe fresh air. Freedom, happiness, and freedom. Thinking of his past life as a social animal, Rod couldn't help but marvel at how his current life is called life. Ding, Dimensional Chat Group invites you to join. Do you agree? The sudden crisp sound startled Rod slightly. This is a chat group. Rod is not unfamiliar with this kind of thing. After all, no one is still an old bookworm. For chat groups doesn't it mean having the opportunity to travel to other worlds? Think of it here. Rod hardly hesitated and agreed to join the chat group. This world is not any challenge for him. Even the possible appearance of polos in the future is just a solution with one punch. But in other worlds, there may be opponents who can bring him joy. Ding! The strongest hero on Earth, Rod, joined the chat group. A virtual light screen resembling a penguin group chat interface emerged before our eyes. This pop.up message appears in the blank chat bar. A few seconds later. The sound of ding 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 echoed four times in a row. March 7th, pistachios on the train. Welcome newcomers Butterfly Chanoe, gentle style. Welcome newcomers. Florian, thousand-year-old magician. Welcome newcomers. Estes, general of the Ice Empire. Welcome newcomers. Estes. The strongest hero on earth. Is the title of newcomer exaggerated? March 7th, really, being able to be called the strongest must have very strong strength. Florian. Why don't the newcomers talk? Are they shy? Butterfly Kagami. No, I think newcomers may not be familiar with chat groups. Butterfly Chanoe. At Rod, any questions about chat groups can be found in the group announcement, just use your mind to operate the chat group functions. While several group members are discussing. Rod also took a closer look at the situation in the group. Firstly, the identities of several members are clear at a glance. March 7th. The entanglement of the essence in the world of iron collapse. Butterfly Zayang Naiwi. The gentle flower style that dies in the blade of ghost destruction. Florian. A magical elf who lived for thousands of years. Estes. Your Majesty, there is no need to say more. 
Next is the function of chat groups. Surprisingly, it's a bit simple there is no well.known point system, only four functions worth mentioning. Group live streaming, sending red envelopes, group tasks, and group traversal. Live streaming is very simple, it is about group members selectively broadcasting their own world's events. A red envelope means that group members can give their belongings as gifts to other group members. Group tasks, any group member can post tasks and set rewards in the group for other members to choose and complete. Yes, the task is published by other members. Not the chat group itself. The group traversal function requires no more words, as long as the group members agree, other group members can come to their own world. It is also possible to send other group members back to their respective worlds at any time. It should be emphasized that, all the above functions do not require anything like integration or energy. Compared to the chat groups in Rod's memory. His chat group appears much purer and more free. It seems that it really only exists to promote communication. After understanding these, Rod stopped diving. Rod. Hello, nice to meet you all. March 7th. That's a typical opening statement. Butterfly Kagami. Nice to meet you too. Please give me some guidance. Estis. Don't have such polite conversations. Estis. Newcomer, judging from your impressive title, your strength is definitely not weak. Come and have a fight with me. Florian. Here we go again, you're really a battle maniac. March 7th, newcomers, don't promise her. She's a super terrifying battle maniac and once it starts, it's endless. Butterfly Kagami. That's right, don't promise her, otherwise no matter whether you win or lose, you will get a tough opponent. Estis. Hello, hello, are you treating me as non-existent? Rod. Fighting or something is too troublesome. Let's just chat for a while. Estis. Indeed, I refused. Estis. All right, since you're not willing to fight, then we can always get to know you. March 7th. I almost forgot that new members need to introduce themselves when joining the group. Rod. Self-introduction. March 7th. That's right, give a brief introduction to yourself or the world you live in. March 7th. It's best to upload some photos or videos. Florian. This is a necessary process to promote relationships among group members. Butterfly Chanui. We are in different worlds, gathered here by fate, and we should always get to know each other better. Butterfly Chanui. You can also see about our affairs in the group files. Rod. All right. In the real world, Rod scratched his head as he watched the news in the group. How to introduce it how troublesome otherwise, just upload a few videos and save your brain. Chapter 3 Estis What are you joking about? You are listening at novel full dot audio. Think of it here. Rod opened his phone and downloaded a video about himself and the world from the internet, and then posted it in a chat group. Ding. Group member Rod uploaded a video. Ding. Group member Rod uploaded a video. Almost at the same time. Four group members clicked on the video uploaded by Rod. When the concepts of monsters and heroes were known to several people, the group sparked lively discussions. Butterfly Kagami. There are so many terrifying monsters, your world is really dangerous. Butterfly Chanui. Compared to that, I feel like the ghosts here are just a sight to behold. Florian. In my judgment, ghost-level monsters are comparable to many great demon clans. Florian. It's hard to imagine how powerful a dragon-level monster can be, perhaps comparable to a demon king. Florian. But I haven't seen the demon king with my own eyes, so I can't compare the two. Have you never seen the demon king? When Rod saw this news, he was slightly taken aback. He had no prior knowledge of the timeline in which Florian was located. 
but now it seems that Fulian may not have started her adventure with Simmel yet. Estes. That's great. There are so many powerful creatures in your world. Estes. Can you let me play in your world for a while? Empire, the residence of a great general. Estes lay on the bed in a white pajama dress, with an excited blush on his face. After seeing many strange people in Rod's world, her combat factors quickly became active. Those terrifying monsters are considered dangerous in the eyes of normal people. But for her, fighting monsters is an extremely wonderful thing. In his past life, Estes has overcome many super dangerous species. But in her opinion, those super dangerous creatures are only within the realm of ghost level monsters, with stronger ones vaguely reaching the threshold of dragon level. Dragon level monsters. They are truly an anticipated formidable enemy. A glimmer of anticipation flashed through Estes's icy blue eyes. March 7th, didn't you notice something, March 7th? The 7th, King, title of S. Level hero is the same as Rod's. They are the strongest heroes on the ground. Butterfly Chanoe. Speaking of which, it's really true. At Rod, are you the 7th on the S. Level? Rod. Yes. Estes. Hero code name, King, you really have confidence. Rod. Don't misunderstand, the hero code is assigned by the Heroes Association and has nothing to do with me. Estes. I don't care, you must be a powerful guy. Come and fight me. Florian. I advise you not to do this, Rhodes is terrifyingly strong. Florian. Let's take a look at the second video. After being reminded by Florian, the other three people also opened the second video curiously. At the beginning, I saw the vaccinated person hanging in mid-air, and the blue flame elemental bombs bombarded the city on the ground like a gust of wind and rain. Each explosion is enough to destroy a tall building, and the affected area radiates the entire street. Subsequently, when the vaccinated individuals began to accumulate energy, the high dot density energy ball appearing in the palm emits blue light that competes with the bright sun. This is an ultimate energy bomb capable of destroying half a large city in one blow. Even through the video, everyone can still feel the suffocating feeling, and the terrifying energy response is daunting. Just as everyone was surprised by the strength of the vaccine recipients. Rod's figure suddenly appeared, his face hidden under his hoodie hat obscure and unclear, and a casual punch stirred up a raging wind. At the moment when the figure of the vaccinated person disappeared with the wind, everyone's hearts were also fiercely impacted. Is this really something that humans can do? Estes. Are you kidding me? I can't believe I eliminated such a terrifying monster with just my fist skills, even piercing the sky behind me. Butterfly Chanoe. Rod Sun, do you actually mean that you are the incarnation of a certain deity? Florian. I told you, this guy is so strong and terrifying. March 7th. Such powerful fists, such terrifying physical strength. March 7th, at Rod, you're not a human at all. How could humans have such terrifying physical bodies? Rod. Sorry. I'm really human. Estes. You are so strong but can only rank 7th on the S. Level. How terrifying should the 6 guys in front of you be? Butterfly Kagami. Shouldn't it be possible to destroy the country with just one blow, right? Rod. That's not the case. Rod. The Heroes Association ranks heroes based on their strength and contribution to heroic activities. Florian. So you are called the strongest hero on earth by the world, but only ranked seventh, simply because you are lazy. Rod. Hey, hey, March 7th, hey, what does that mean the group was embroiled in heated discussions due to Rod's video? In the real world, Rod temporarily shifted his attention away from the chat group. He has arrived home. This is the busiest area in the city center of A. The high housing prices are beyond the affordability of ordinary people, 
even if they have been saving money since primitive times. But for Rod, living here is actually an honor for the foundation behind it. The consortium behind the League of Legends understands very well what Rod's strength represents. They are very flattering to Rod. More than ten unlimited black cards were sent over. Even if Rod is willing, the presidents of those consortia will not hesitate to bring their daughters to their door, just to win over Rod. In this era where strange people are rampant. Strength is everything. As long as Rod stays here for a day, this area is the safest place in the world. Therefore, many financial leaders have placed their important relatives nearby. Even if they have the opportunity to arrange people to receive the highest level of protection at the headquarters of the League of Legends. But still made such a decision. Investigate the reasons behind it. The impression that Rod left on them in the past was too profound. No matter how powerful the enemy is, they can be solved with one punch, which represents Rod's unfathomable terrifying power. Open the door. A hot and steaming aroma rushed towards me. Zila. As if the sound of fresh meat falling into the oil pot was incessant, accompanied by a breathtaking aroma. Under the action of high temperature, wonderful chemical reactions occur between ingredients. Mr. Rod, welcome back. Upon hearing the sound of the door opening, a graceful figure peeked out of the kitchen. She has a head of black medium-length hair, with a crescent-like silly hair standing proudly above her head, making it noticeable at a glance. There are not many expressions on the peaceful and elegant face, making it difficult to see clearly what is inside. Her magnificent wine-red eyes exude charming charm, but unfortunately she doesn't seem to have much self-awareness. She wears an apron and holds a shovel, looking like a housewife. Just call me Rod. You came early today, ten flowers. Chapter 4 Florian Do you also want to learn magic? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Little Bird Tours 10 Flowers In high school, he was a skilled gymnast in the gymnastics department. Later, due to family changes, he switched to the famous Yuanyue Koyeo Cuisine School to study culinary skills in high school. Although she did not become the top 10 of Far Moon during her school years, Graduating from Far Moon alone is enough to prove her exceptional culinary skills. Many star-rated restaurants in society have invited Little Bird to Ten Flowers. But without hesitation, she chose to refuse all and accepted Rhodes' private housekeeping invitation. The reason is quite simple. Money as mentioned earlier, Rod is not short of money. He doesn't need to consider anything about money when doing anything. A few days ago, by chance, he met Little Bird and Ten Flowers, and then he paid a high price to buy the future of the girl. Although the experience of growing up is slightly different from the original work. But there is no doubt about it. This Little Bird is the sister of the six flowers that he loves in his past life, and it is the character in the drama Zhong Er Bing also wants to fall in love. Well, today Friday, I plan to go to school to pick up Lu Hua. That's why I came earlier. Little Bird's ten flowers explained briefly, and the movement in the pot pulled her back to the kitchen. Upon seeing this, Rod did not continue to disturb her. I casually turned on the TV and lay on the sofa, checking the messages in the group again. Florian. At Butterfly Chanui, did you learn the attack magic I taught you last time? Butterfly Chanui. Hmm, I'm getting started with it a bit but I always feel like it's just a bit lacking in meaning. Florian. Normally, magic requires slow practice. March 7th. I also want to learn magic, but I don't seem to have much talent. Florian. You're wrong, it's not related to talent. Florian. Just like a mountain cannot tolerate two tigers, you already have another energy in your body. If you practice magic, the conflict between the two energies will cause damage to your body. Florian. So, out of instinct for survival, your body will resist magic. Esther. Humph, it doesn't matter if you don't know magic. At March 7th, Estes. If you use magic to fight, 
you will lose a lot of fun. March 7th. But I think it's cool to use magic. March 7th. I also want to fly into the sky like Florian. Rod. Can magic also be used in the world of Chana Hui? Looking at the news in the group, Rod fell silent for a moment. He had not yet thought that Freelian could teach the magic of her own world to others. In theory, there should be no magic in the world of the ghost slaying blade. Or perhaps there are rules that Rod is not aware of. After all, he became a saint by playing with his physical body and knew very little about magic, superpowers, and so on. Florian. Of course you can. Florian. Different world rules may have slight differences, but they basically follow the same underlying logic. Florian. However, the actual effect of magic will be influenced by the world and undergo some changes. Butterfly Chanui. I think it's pretty good. After learning Freelian's attack magic, I feel much easier when fighting ghosts again. Butterfly Kagami. In the past, I had no other means of threatening ghosts except for using breathing techniques to engage in close combat. Butterfly Chanui. But now I can use attack magic to deal ranged damage to ghosts, weaken their strength, and then personally kill them. It's really convenient. March 7th, damn it, so envious. Estes. I have to admit, magic does have its uniqueness. Rod. Can I also learn magic from you? At Florian, Florian. Hey, you're so strong. Do you still need to learn magic? Nameless forests within the borders of central countries. Florian stopped her small hand picking herbs and hesitated for two seconds before asking back in the group. She had already realized how terrifying Rod's strength was through that video. Such a terrifying powerhouse should not be interested in her magic. Rod. Well, I want to learn the magic of flying. Rod. Actually, besides being a bit physically strong, everything else I have is just an ordinary human, and flying is something I really aspire to. March 7th, hee hee, you really love to joke. Estes. You're not just a bit strong, you're just a pervert level strong. Florian. So it's like this, I understand now. Ding. Group member, Fulian, sends, Rod, a red envelope. Upon seeing the group prompt, Rod quickly accepted the red envelope. Ding. You received a red envelope you have obtained magic seed, magic dark thoughts, and flying magic at the moment the red envelope arrived, Rod felt a wonderful energy appearing in his body. If nothing unexpected happens, it should be the so dot called magic seed. Florian. I have given you some magic, which can help you adapt to the power of magic faster. Rod. Thank you very much, you are really a good person. Florian. You're welcome, flying magic is not very rare in my world. The real world. After obtaining the magic seed, Rod began to experiment according to his dark thoughts. I thought magic should be difficult to learn. But who knew, Rodriguez just meditated. The magical seed inside his body shook violently, and he immediately sensed the free energy in the air. As Florian mentioned earlier, the fundamental laws of each universe are the same. Whether it's magic, spiritual energy, or imaginary energy. These terms are all used to refer to the energy that drifts between all things. This energy also exists in this world. Rod pondered, trying to absorb these free energies. In just a moment, countless energies rushed into my body like a tide. The intensity of this energy even triggered material changes, causing a sudden gust of wind in the living room, with curtains and books flying in unison. The little bird you sure hua, who was cooking in the kitchen, noticed the commotion and couldn't help but turn back to look at the living room. A magical scene in the chaos before her stunned her. What is this? Situation. For a moment, the little bird even forgot the ingredients in the pot, until the burnt smell penetrated her nose, and she suddenly realized it. Oh no, the dishes are burnt. 
she ignored the abnormality behind her and frantically flipped through the ingredients in the pot. Butterfly Chanui At Rod, as both new wizards, we can communicate more in the future. Florian You have been studying for some time now, and his progress may be much slower than yours. However, he can ask you for some advice. Rod I have a question now that I want to ask you. Rod What if I say that the magic is too massive for me to have subtle control? Butterfly Chanel Hmm. March 7th, hmm, Esther. Hmm. Florian. Ha. Huh. Chapter 5. The Magic of Madness. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Rod stood in the messy living room, scratching his head in confusion. What happened just now? He just wanted to try the magical idea, but he didn't expect the growth rate of magic to exceed his imagination. The chaotic magic is like a surging and roaring sea, recklessly crushing and destroying the surrounding things. Fortunately, this suite was built using the highest grade rare materials. In the magic tide, only some cracks appeared on the wall and did not harm the critical load dot bearing position. However, the home furnishings are not as sturdy anymore. Tables, chairs, benches, and other items are all thrown up and scattered turning the living room into ruins. This magic is too great to control. Rod looked around him, as if a white mist filled the entire space. These misty and illusory mist are a manifestation of immense magic. So, what happened just now? Little bird Yushirhua poked her head out of the kitchen, and the chaos in the living room surprised her. She just noticed something unusual in the living room. Fortunately, there is a wall partition between the living room and kitchen, and even the glass is made of the most advanced bulletproof glass, which does not affect the kitchen that is currently on fire. It's nothing, Rod sneered. How to explain this kind of thing? Did he say he made a mess of his own home? Isn't this adding tasks to little birds ten flowers for nothing? She will definitely get angry. Oh. Zionaiwa Shirhua nodded silently, suddenly feeling that road was a bit strange. This feeling is like facing the most ferocious beast directly, full of pressure and fear, and the muscles of the body unconsciously tremble slightly. Rod. You seem to have suddenly become very scary. Zionaiwa Shirhua originally wanted to step into the living room to clean up the mess, but her legs and feet remained disobedient. Her biological instincts drove her to leave this place. Well. Please wait a moment. Rod was helpless and quickly opened the chat group. Rod. I'm not joking, my living room has already been brutally murdered. Ding. Group member, Rod, uploaded a picture. March 7th. It's so chaotic. Did you just fight someone else at home, Estes? It doesn't look like it does. The ground is very clean and the damage marks on the furniture are all caused by collisions. It looks more like someone intentionally damaged it. Butterfly Chanui. What a rich magic. This room is filled with a lot of magic. Estes. Hmm. You can also see magic through the picture. Butterfly Kagami. Although I don't know why, I can indeed see it. March 7th. It's getting more and more mysterious, but I can really feel that the picture is a bit unusual. Florian. It should be the ability of chat groups. Florian. This picture is very realistic and perfectly presents the original appearance of the world, capturing even intangible energy. Rod. As you can see, my magic is beyond my control and is unconsciously destroying the surrounding environment. Florian. Sorry, I didn't expect you to absorb so much magic all at once. Ding. Group member, Fulian, sends, Rod, a red envelope. Florian. I have sent you another method for controlling magic, take a good look. Rod. Thank you, you've been a big help. The real world. Rod accepted the red envelope and suddenly came up with a method of controlling magic in his mind. 
according to the method, when Rod felt the magic again, he felt a change. The once rebellious magic has become communicable and controllable. He tried to communicate, using his will to control the magic and try to converge as much as possible. In an instant, the magic that constantly gushed out of his body poured back into Rod's body like seawater. At the same time, the little bird suddenly realized that the terrifying pressure had disappeared. Confused eyes looked at Rod, no matter how slow her reaction was, it was time to notice. The man who hired himself as a domestic helper seems not as simple as the ostensible wealthy. Butterfly Chanel I really don't know what to say. Butterfly Chanoui I have been studying magic for a longer time than Rod, but in terms of magic, I am not even as good as his. March 7 Don't compare yourself to his kind of pervert, even without magic, he is still a monster. Estes can it be said that powerful people can generate magic faster? In a sense, it can indeed be said that way. Florian. The stronger the spirit, the faster the speed of magical cultivation. Florian. And human body and spirit are one, and to perfectly control a strong body, a strong spirit is needed. With Rod's strength, the spirit must be quite terrifying. Rod. Is there another way to say that? Sure enough, Freelian is very good at this type of research. Butterfly Chanoui Of course, Teacher Florian is an elf who has lived for thousands of years, and her profound knowledge is truly admirable. March 7 A thousand years, will you forget some things in such a long time? Florian Elves have a great memory, and they won't forget anything interesting. Estes Speaking of which, I remember you've been living alone in the secluded wilderness for a thousand years, wouldn't you feel bored? Florian. I've been used to it for a long time, and now that we're chatting together, I won't feel bored anymore. Butterfly Kagami. After I solve the crisis of ghosts, can I come and play with you? Florian. Of course, I will definitely warmly welcome you then. Rod. Ghost Crisis. Why don't you invite us to help? Rod. That so dot called Ghost King is not our opponent, is it? Butterfly Kagami. Well, I don't want to waste everyone's time. Butterfly Chanoui. The ghost killing team has been searching for the whereabouts of the Ghost King for years, but unfortunately, he hid too deep and we couldn't find his trace. Butterfly Kagami. When I find him, I will definitely ask everyone for help. Please don't refuse me then. Esther. Humph, I'm happy to fight. I want to see if that so dot called Ghost King really doesn't die. March 7. Although I'm a bit afraid of ghosts, I still have no problem dealing with those cannibalistic ghosts. Florian. No problem with me either. It would be great to go out and have some activities by chance. Butterfly Chanoui. Thank you all. Butterfly House Butterfly Ziyang Naiwi was soaking in the hot spring, watching everyone in the group respond positively. She held back her tears and looked up at the azure sky. The body and mind, which had been somewhat exhausted from fighting against evil spirits last night, suddenly received great comfort. Evil ghosts cannot face the sun directly due to curses, and members of the ghost killing team also have to associate with Starry Night to kill ghosts. How long has it been since she had a good look at such a blue sky? Rod. I have a way to lure him out. Hey. Chapter 6. Ten Flowers, Six Desperate Gods. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Butterfly Ziyang Naiwi blinked her eyes, feeling surprised in her heart. The long dot standing wish of the ghost killing team has been to kill Suji Kami and end the era of evil spirits. However, this seems to be just a long dot standing wish. Ghost Dan Suji's whereabouts are hard to find, and he has a high degree of mimicry ability, which can transform into children, women, elderly people, and so on at any time. The Ghost Kill team couldn't even touch the shadow of Ghost Dan Suji, 
so it was heavily damaged by his subordinate twelve ghost moons, and even the history of the ghost kill team was forgotten. She was curious about what the method road suggested would be. March 7th. You're not joking, are you? Shana Hui and her team spent hundreds of years trying to find the trace of the Ghost King. Rod. I never joke. Esther. Oh, that's interesting. What's your solution? Let's hear it. Florian. I'm also very curious. Butterfly Kagami. If you could really help me lead to the tragedy of Suji no Kami, I would greatly appreciate it. Rod. The method is very simple. Rod. As long as Chana Hui persuades the Ghost Slayer team to reveal the news of the Blue Bien Flower, Suji Kami will naturally come knocking on his door. Butterfly Kagami. Is it that simple? Rod. It's just that simple. Rod can't remember many details about the Blade of Ghost Destruction anymore. After all, he has been reborn for nearly twenty years, and unimportant memories will automatically fade away. But the last medicinal herb that Ghost Dance Suji has been searching for 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 thousands of years, the Blue Bienhua, he still remembers. It seems to have grown near the place where Ji Guiyuan's wife sleeps forever. Only during the period when the sun is at its peak will it briefly bloom. With the tragic character of Suji Kami, upon receiving news of the blue flower on the other side, he would definitely choose to start the final battle without hesitation, just like in the original work. When the ghost killing team can't find him, he will have to find the ghost killing team himself. March 7th. The blue flower on the other bank sounds like just a flower, can it really lure out the ghost king? Florian. I'm not sure, I still need to ask Chanel about this matter. To be honest, I don't know what Blue Bien Hua is. Butterfly Chanui. But since Rod said that, it's not a bad idea to give it a try. Estes. At Rod, do you know something we don't even know about? Rod. Why say this? Esther. My intuition. Rod. He is truly a wise and brave general, but unfortunately this is a secret. Esther. Hmm. March 7th, wow, look at this tone, you're weird. Florian. Clearly visible, he doesn't seem to want to reveal too much. March 7th, damn it, my curiosity has been aroused. Estes. You guy, I suddenly became interested in you. Rod. Really. That's really something to be happy about. March 7th, something's wrong, something's really wrong. Florian. What's wrong? Butterfly Kagami. I just conveyed this matter to the ghost killing team. Perhaps, the era of evil spirits can finally come to an end in my generation. Rod. Yes, please stay tuned. Butterfly Chanui. Thank you. In the real world, Rod has temporarily closed the chat group. The matter of Butterfly Ziyang Naiwi will not come to an end so soon. The Blade of Ghost Destruction is in the Taisho era, and the speed of information dissemination cannot be compared to the Internet era. I want to spread the news of the Blue Flower on the other side to the ears of Suji no Kami. Maybe a few days, maybe a dozen days, or even a month. You can eat now. The living room is in a mess. Zayanayawa Shirhua placed the prepared dishes on the table that had been temporarily moved from another room, shouting, Rod, while unbuttoning the apron around her waist. Rod came upon hearing the sound, his nose lightly sniffing, and the aroma that came upon him was so overwhelming that it made his fingers skip a beat. It has to be said that as a graduate of Yuanyue Academy, Zayanayawa Shirhua is very skilled in cooking. After all, people with poor cooking skills cannot graduate from Far Moon. Sit down and eat together. Rod took the rice and invited the bird to swim ten flowers and sit down together. She shook her head lightly and refused, thank you for the invitation, but I have to go pick up Lu Hua from school now. After speaking, she looked at the ground under her feet again. Can I just tidy up these when I come back? Rod nodded slightly and said, 
of course you can. Upon hearing this, the face of the little bird swimming in ten flowers finally no longer showed the unchanging indifference. The corners of the mouth curled up slightly, like the first fresh green after the melting of winter snow. It seems that this employer is still very articulate. This is also good. Having a boss who is easy to negotiate is definitely a rare opportunity in the workplace. Please use it slowly, I'll leave first. Zionaiwa Shirhua stepped on her slippers and arrived at the entrance, ready to change her shoes and go out. Rod picked up his chopsticks and was about to enjoy the delicious dish in front of him. Ding! The sudden crisp bell interrupted both of their movements. Rod is very familiar with this prompt sound, not a chat group. But from the League of Legends. Only when ghost and dragon level monsters appear, the Heroes Guild will directly send a distress signal to S.Level Heroes. Knowing the urgency of the situation, Rod immediately clicked on the message. League of Legends Urgent Notice A strange person appears at the private Ginkgo Biloba school in the city center of A. The monster showed strong virus infection ability and was initially named a zombie monster with a disaster rating of Ghost Level. Please support heroes at level A and above within this range. A city center. Private Ginkgo Academy. Rod squinted his eyes, wouldn't there be such a coincidence? Shirhua, where is your sister studying at? At the door, little bird you Shirhua, who was about to open the door and leave, was stunned and answered inexplicably, what's wrong with the private Ginkgo Biloba school? After obtaining the exact answer, Rod Tun immediately put down the dishes. There are ghost-level monsters there, it's very dangerous for you to go alone. As he spoke, Rod casually picked up the hoodie next to him and went to the entrance. He looked at the stunned little bird, Yu Shihua, and said, let me go with you. After being stunned for two seconds, the pupils of little bird's ten flowers gradually dilated, and an anxious mood was about to emerge. Ghost level monster. You're not joking with me, are you? Do you think I can make such a joke? Rod's rhetorical question was like an electric current hitting a bird swimming in ten flowers, and she felt her hands and feet cold and her heart contracting suddenly. Since her parents passed away, Lu Hua has been her most important relative in this world. Now that she learned that a ghost level monster had appeared in her sister's school, endless panic surged in her heart. The so dot called ghost level monster is a monster that can cause a town's functions to be paralyzed. Among them, those who excel in destructive power can even destroy buildings with one blow, and even affect the entire street. No, I need to rush over immediately. Chapter 7 Master Chui Shui wants to curse. You are listening at novel full dot audio. There is no time to ponder the truth or falsehood of this matter, as the bird will rush down the stairs after ten steps. However, Rod reached out and grabbed her directly. Seeing her look anxious and confused as she turned around, Rod quickly said, It's too slow to go this way. I'll take you straight over. Flying. The little bird Yushihua was momentarily stunned, and by the time she realized it, it had already been held in Rod's arms. Hold on tight, don't fall down later. Rod didn't give her time to react, his knees slightly bent, and a catapult shot into the air in an instant. This is certainly not flying magic. He just got the flying magic from Florian and hasn't had time to learn it yet. Really, it's flying. The strong sense of weightlessness interrupted what little bird Yu Shihua had originally wanted to say. She had no choice but to hold on to Rod's neck and hide her small face in his arms to avoid the howling wind. It's not really flying, I just jumped. Rod scanned the ground with a faint smile. Landing on the top of a towering building, he gazed into the distance at the area where constant noise could be heard. If nothing unexpected happens, that should be the location of the private Ginkgo Biloba school. Take off again. The little bird swam through ten flowers, feeling the weight loss of its body, carefully shifting its gaze to look at the ground. The world has become so small. When she was in the city, she would marvel at the grandeur of high dot rise buildings, 
but now when she looked down from above, she felt that everything under her feet was so insignificant. She didn't feel emotional for too long. On their second landing, the two had already appeared outside the private Ginkgo Academy. The campus, which used to be filled with youthful atmosphere, is now full of a bloody smell. Low growls kept coming and going, it was a beastly roar, with nothing more than a greedy desire to eat. Through the iron gate, the bird can clearly see the bloody scene inside the school, with the ground covered in incomplete flesh and blood. The foul-smelling blood converges into a stream flowing with a clanging sound. Six flowers, six flowers are still inside. Seeing those terrifying monsters, her heart suddenly tugged. Without hesitation, she took out her phone and wanted to confirm her sister's safety. But the next moment, the phone disappeared without a trace. It really disappeared without a trace. Looking at the phone that left, Little Bird Game took a while and experienced some downtime. Why did her phone suddenly fly on its own? Are you a fool? The sound of the mature and cool senior sister's voice, with high heels stepping on the ground, is crisp and rhythmic. A head of dark green short hair, dark green eyes as if dancing with the fire of hell, even the clothes on the body are deep green dresses. The tall and curvaceous senior sister walked gracefully, with delicate features and fair skin. Her slender waist and ample breasts were unparalleled compared to those of a bird swimming in ten flowers. But what truly impressed her was her sharp eyes, like a queen. Since you appear here, it means there is someone important to you in the school. You're harming someone by calling that person at this moment. Zionaiwa Shirhua was stunned, and then two people followed behind the imperial sister. One was tall, the other was thin, and wearing a formal suit on both of them gave a slightly comical feeling. The meaning of, snow-blowing lord is. Those zombie monsters hearing is very sensitive, and any abnormal noise will attract their attention. The long lower eyelashes lightly explained the action of blowing snow just now. The speechless mountain ape stood behind, nodding in agreement. You are a B. Level hero group. The snow blowing group. At this moment, Little Bird Yushirhua finally recognized the identities of several people. In this era of monsters and heroes, she can easily recognize some popular heroes. B. Level Chief, Blizzard of Hell. He is a highly popular hero. Hmm. Blowing Snow proudly raised her face, not saying anything, but her heart was filled with joy. Hurry up and leave here, the monsters inside will be eliminated by us heroes. Seeing that the snow blowing seemed to be trying to drive people away, Little Bird Yushirhua quickly said, No, I have to confirm my sister's safety. She doesn't care about heroes or monsters. If Lu Hua's safety cannot be confirmed with her own eyes, she will definitely collapse. Upon hearing this, Blowing Snow's face turned a bit unpleasant. Unlike birds swimming in ten flowers, she is a professional hero. No one knows the horror of monsters better than heroes. Many times, when leading the snow-blowing team to suppress the monsters, she would encounter people like Little Bird Yushirhua who were stranded on the scene for their own reasons. This not only brings them great rescue pressure, but also forces them to allocate their energy to take care of these people. As a result, his subordinates incurred losses that could have been avoided. Over time, she really couldn't maintain a good temper towards someone who didn't listen to advice. You should act according to your own plan, and as for us, you don't have to worry about it. Before the snowstorm broke out, Rod spoke up first. At this moment, the three of them noticed Rod who had been silent just now. When they saw the hoodie on him, a thought flashed through them all at the same time. Another passionate fan of King. In the past, Rod would put on a hoodie every time he engaged in heroic activities, and he didn't have as many styles of clothes as girls. Therefore, everyone recorded the several hoodies he had worn. Many fanatical fans choose to wear the same hoodie as Rod in order to get closer to their idols. Since Rod had never shown his face before, the three of them only regarded him as a fanatic fan intending to imitate King. 
Do you think that cracking down on monsters is just a passing game? The most important thing for ordinary people like you is to protect yourself and not add trouble to heroes. Eyelashes angrily rebuked without hesitation. In fact, there are also many ordinary people in the snow-blowing group, but they are all trained and know how to protect themselves. At least it won't add any burden to the heroes, and it can also help cover the evacuation of the public from the dangerous area. But for untrained individuals, eyelashes still hope that they can have some self-awareness, and staying away from dangerous areas is the greatest cooperation for heroes. Sorry, I'm not an ordinary person anymore. Rod smiled nonchalantly and immediately released his grip on magic. In an instant, a massive magic surged out. Even though the people present cannot see the invisible magic, the sense of oppression, like that of a top predator, is an instinct engraved deep in every biological gene, and they still involuntarily tremble. What power is this? Snow blowing suddenly widened her eyes. In her perception, a terrifying force suddenly appeared around her. The grandeur of its momentum was like a vast ocean, giving her a feeling of despair and powerlessness. Hmm. Rod keenly sensed her abnormality and touched his chin, guessing. Unexpectedly perceiving magic, is it because she is a power superpower? Thank you to Bing Jia and his two big shots for their monthly tickets. Chapter 8 Sister says purple has a distinctive taste. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Human senses are not interconnected. In the perception of eyelashes and mountain apes, Rode only added a breathtaking aura. This feeling is more like an instinctive fear when facing fierce beasts. In the perception of blowing snow, she can feel the existence of magic more clearly. This terrifying power. Is he really? Suddenly, Snow Blowing thought of some possibility. She didn't understand what this power was, but what was certain was that Rod in front of her was definitely a strong person. Gradually, the figure in front of her began to overlap with the figure in her memory. A shocking thought suddenly arose. King. Blowing Snow was startled by his own idea. The true identity of King is one of the highly concerned topics in society. As the strongest hero, no one ever knows his true identity. And now, she seems to be standing in front of such a strong person. For a moment, the snow suddenly became a bit nervous. Her lips parted slightly, wanting to speak but feeling stuck in her throat, unsure of what to say. Let's go inside. Rod is not interested in continuing to entangle with the three for too long. He could feel the anxiety of the bird swimming in ten flowers. Snow blowing lord. Eyelash and mountain ape watched as Rod and his companions entered Ginkgo Academy. Until their figures disappeared, the two of them, who had only realized later, looked at the blowing snow with a stern expression. It's okay, let them in. Snow blowing's gaze is complex, and if her intuition is right, then this disaster should end soon. Let's also start our own mission to rescue the survivors in the school. Yes. Internally within the school. Rod and the little bird walked quietly, surrounded by cherry trees standing tall and falling petals. If it weren't for the occasional piercing roar, the atmosphere at the scene might have seemed ambiguous. Sure. There were bursts of fighting and screams coming from not far ahead. The two of them exchanged a glance and silently quickened their steps to move forward. At the entrance of the sports hall. A continuous stream of zombies are coming from afar, gradually surrounding this place. Pwai. 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 The sharp blade pierced through the body, and the enchanting blood splattered. A man dressed in silver light armor held a samurai sword and stopped the group of zombies from attacking behind with his own strength in front of the gym door. However, as a samurai, he lacks effective means of killing on a large scale. No matter how hard he tries to stop it, there will always be a few fish that have missed the net rushing into the gymnasium. At this moment, another long sword startled the swan. Purple long hair flutters freely and every time a silver light flashes, there will always be a cool purple following. 
The girl was dressed in a well-fitted school uniform, with a delicate face and a curvy figure. Her slightly slanted eyes exuded a strong sense of heroism. She held a samurai sword in her hand, and every time a fish caught in the net rushed into the gym, she would be the first to be brutally killed by her. Surrounded by it, there are several sturdy boys holding weapons such as sticks and chairs to assist. Students who lack the courage to fight zombies can only tremble in fear in the rear, trying their best not to cause them any trouble. In the center of the crowd, the petite girl sat helplessly on the ground, bending her knees and holding her head, afraid to look at the scene in front of her. It's so scary. Is this the army of the demon world? Holy adjuster, where are you? I'm so scared. The little bird Yuluhua couldn't help but cry in fear. Although she often dreams of various second-year high school students, when she encounters these cannibalistic monsters, it ultimately exposes her true nature. It's just an ordinary girl with a second dream. Ahead. Jiuha and looked a bit tired, with sweat constantly sliding down his forehead. Looking at the endless swarm of zombies in front of me, as well as a continuous stream of large troops approaching from afar. Even he couldn't help feeling a bit hopeless. No, these zombies are so numerous that they can't be counted. If this continues, I will eventually exhaust my energy. He was a master of swordsmanship under the atomic warrior, but he never deviated from the realm of mortals. As long as you are human, you cannot maintain a high level of concentration for too long. These zombies, when viewed individually, are only wolf-level disasters, but when they gather like herds of animals, their disaster level is no less than that of ordinary ghost level. Moreover, these are just ordinary zombies. The zombie mother body hidden behind him is the one he truly fears. Due to a lack of intelligence, the League of Legends did not have a clear understanding of the level of the zombie mother. But preliminary estimates suggest that it is at least not inferior to ghost level. Only S. Level heroes can independently defeat ghost level monsters. This is common knowledge in everyone's cognition. Even if Juhan is the second highest in A. Level, aside from that special A. Level chief fake face sweetheart, he is actually the strongest in A. Level. But still lacks the ability to handle ghost level disasters alone. According to intelligence, that zombie mother has human intelligence, it must be waiting for me to exhaust my strength in the dark. You're really cunning enough. Juha and gritted his teeth and forced himself to perk up. Anyway, he must safely send out the students behind him. This is his belief as a hero. Suddenly. A violent movement came from behind the zombie swarm, and the swarm immediately turned its attack direction like a tide and headed towards the rear. What is the situation? Juhan was puzzled and looked at the constantly fading tide of zombies, feeling a bit shocked. Like him, many students behind him were surprised. Behind the zombie swarm. Rod stood calmly and calmly in the same spot, with the bird Yu Shihua obediently following in his footsteps, not a single inch away. Under their feet were zombies scattered all over the ground, their already decaying bodies seeming to be torn apart by immense force, breaking into several pieces and being discarded on the ground. Unfortunately, I haven't officially learned magic yet, so I can only fight with my fists. After I go back, I must ask Freelian to teach me some more magic. Road thought with regret. If this disaster happened a few days later, he might be able to set fire to all these zombies like a big fireball. Rod, are you really okay? The bird swam ten flowers and poked its head out from behind, looking nervous. Although she already knew that Rod was not an ordinary person, the exaggerated number of zombies in front of her still made her somewhat worried. Don't worry, I'm very strong. Rod smiled confidently and clenched his fist, punching forward. Hoo 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 hoo. The fist wind is like a knife, howling and roaring. The terrifying force tore apart flesh and blood, like a mud cart rushing into a group of zombies, instantly clearing a small area. Blood splattered everywhere, leaving a deep pit mark on the ground. 
Seeing this scene, Little Bird swimming ten flowers completely calmed down. It seems that these monsters really don't have any difficulty with Rod. Now she only hopes that Lu Hua hasn't had any problems. Chapter 9 First Meeting with Poison Island Senior Sister You are listening at Novel Full Audio. The wind howled, and flesh and blood fell from a height into a puddle of meat sauce. Juha and stared blankly at the zombies flying and falling in the distance, falling into a brief moment of stagnation. Is Mr. Rod here for this style of combat? Through the gap, he caught a glimpse of a familiar face. My heart suddenly rejoiced, and the tightly held heart suddenly relaxed. If it's Mr. Rod, then this disaster can be easily resolved. Juha and knew Rod, and he also knew that Rod was king. In fact, Rod just doesn't like to show off when performing heroic activities. He doesn't like to walk on the street surrounded by a lot of people and look like a monkey. I don't like my life being watched and discussed online by others, and I have no privacy at all. Many S.level heroes don't really care about this. Because they are originally living in seclusion and rarely appear in society. For example, martial artists like Bangu and Atomic Warriors usually only operate in dojo far from cities. For example, scientists like Tong Di and Metal Knight have their own experimental bases, and it is common for them to stay indoors for several months just because of an experiment. But Road is different, he lives in the bustling city center of A. Once their identity is exposed, there may be countless people coming to surround them the next day. But for the high.level members of the League of Legends, as well as a small group of colleagues from S.level heroes, Rod believed there was no need to pretend to be mysterious. He is not a mountaintop cave person, it is impossible for him to be completely isolated from society. Properly revealing one's identity can save a lot of trouble. And Juha and followed the Atomic Warrior by chance and met Rod at the end of an S.level meeting. Of course, his personality does not allow him to casually reveal Rod's identity to the public. Lord Juhan, what's wrong with you? The girl took two steps forward with her sword, her voice warm and mature, slightly contrasting with her cool appearance. Ah, it's okay, Juha and regained his senses and casually said. Turning his head, he looked at the tall girl in front of him, with a hint of admiration in his eyes. Your swordsmanship is very good, and you are truly a descendant of Poison Island flow. If I give you a few more years, maybe you can become a hero. Upon hearing this, Ryoko Takushima smiled and humbly lowered his head, saying, it's ridiculous. I still need to work harder in my cultivation. No, Juha and shook his head and said confidently, I'm serious. Ryoko Takushima was stunned for a moment and could only nod with a smile. Thank you very much. Just as they were talking. But in just a moment. The zombie wave that had just caused Juha and a headache was cleared by Rod in one fell swoop. In fact, if it weren't for the fear of destroying the entire school and causing the survivors to die as well. Rod doesn't need to spend so much time, he just needs a punch to lift this ground and bury all the zombies. The scene was quite brutal, with severed limbs and arms, and blood and flesh blurred. If anyone who didn't know saw it, they might have thought this was some kind of meat grinder. But those who witnessed all of this with their own eyes, without exception, burst into fierce cheers. Great, saved. Who is that hero, why don't I remember? I don't know, but judging by their attire, they should be fans of King. Despite all this, he saved us anyway. Thank you, stranger hero. A group of middle school students were chattering and making more noise than cicadas chirping on summer nights. They gathered one foot away in front of Rod, wanting to step forward but not daring to be the first to take a step forward. Afraid of offending this unfamiliar hero. It's really troublesome, Rod felt uncomfortable as he looked at the men and women in front of him. That's why he doesn't like to show off. In this era of heroes, once he becomes a famous hero, he will receive attention from the whole society. Except for people like Sweetheart Cayman who aspire to endorse heroes, few people can tolerate such a life. At this moment. 
a petite figure suddenly appeared and said, Holy Conditioner, you have finally arrived. I was so scared just now. At a glance, Little Bird Yuluhua locked onto ten flowers behind Rod. Just emerging from the fear of death, she was full of excitement and desperately hugged her sister, refusing to let go. Looking at her tearful and fearful younger sister, Little Bird Yu Shihua also held her in her arms with a heart-wrenching expression. Lu Hua, it's great that you're okay. The two sisters hugged each other and cried as if they were alone in the crowd and people are indeed too lazy to pay attention to the two of them. The drama of sisters embracing is really moving, but they have not forgotten that they are still in a dangerous school. Lord Juhan, what should we do now? Ryoko Takushima's voice stood out among the crowd, and when they heard her words, they immediately fell silent and turned their gaze to Juhan. They also have the same question. She is. Rod glanced at Ryoko Takushima, feeling inexplicably familiar in his heart. Juha and ignored everyone's gaze and exchanged a glance with Rod from afar, slightly bowing his head to show respect. Mr. Rod, it's really great that you're here. I was originally worried about whether to help them evacuate safely first or to go and punish the zombie monsters first. But don't worry now, with you around, I can safely lead them to evacuate first. Rod nodded slightly. I understand, you go ahead. The conversation between the two stunned the people present. This statement and answer make the hierarchy obvious. Lord Juha and seems to have great respect for him. Ryoko Takushima looked curiously at Rod, only to find that the other person was also looking at him. For a moment, the girl's heart tugged slightly. Anyone would feel a bit nervous if they were caught peeking. She blushed slightly and turned her head stiffly. After all, it's still students, no matter how strong their abilities are, their psychology is still very immature. Miss Poison Island, can we continue to cooperate? I'll lead the way ahead, and you'll be responsible for dealing with the fish that missed the net behind me. Juha An's words appeared at the right time, easing the embarrassment of Ryoko Takushima. She nodded without hesitation. Rode, who heard the word, Poison Island, on the side, suddenly realized. So it's her. Takushima Ryoko. The reason why Roder didn't recognize it at the first time is that when anime is turned into reality, there will always be some differences. It was not until Juha and called out the surname of Ryoko Takushima that Rod combined his memory with the real person in front of him. Another familiar character, and such a clever zombie monster has appeared. There's really no way not to associate, this world is really interesting. Rod thought with great interest. At this moment, Zainaiwa Shirhua hugged Luhua and looked up and said to Rod, Thank you very much. Luhua has already been found, so I won't continue to trouble you. I will evacuate with them later. What are your plans? Thank you to the seven great slayers for their reward, and thank you to the big boss for his monthly pass. Chapter 10 The Awakened Soul of Zhongr You are listening at NovelFull.audio Rode glanced slightly and saw the determined expression of the little bird in ten flowers, so he nodded. That's okay, you guys should leave first. Since everyone has arrived, he naturally wants to easily deal with that zombie mother. The mood of Little Bird swimming six flowers eased a lot, and she obediently stood next to her sister, secretly observing Rod. Who is this man? Why did he appear with the Holy Adjuster? Can you say? A ray of arc light suddenly appeared, and the Little Bird Yuluhua suddenly realized and tapped her palm. He is actually a companion of the Holy Adjuster. She seemed to have discovered some secret, as if the soul of Zhongr had awakened, with one hand on her forehead and a palm extended forward. Hmm hmm hmm. You invisible minions, even if you save me this time, don't expect me to be grateful to you. We are still enemies. The sudden onset of COVID.19 in Zhongr left the scene completely silent. Little bird Yuluhua ignored the gazes cast by the people around her and said to herself. Unexpectedly, a chiseled chestnut struck her head hard. 
You idiot, now is not the time to make you a sophomore. Zayaniawa Shirhua reluctantly grabbed her sister by the collar and forcibly dragged her away. Her younger sister, for some reason, has contracted a condition called Jonger. I often fantasize about being the messenger of the true eye of the evil king, and for this reason, I even put on an eye mask and beautiful pupils for my eyes. If it weren't for an eye infection and bacteria being taken to the hospital, it would really look like that. Rod looked at the pitiful expression on the little bird's face and smiled knowingly. The attributes of the second disease are very strange. Although she is doing extremely awkward things, she herself has a strong belief, which actually makes people around her feel embarrassed. It fully explains what it means. As long as one is not embarrassed, then others are the ones who are embarrassed. Mr. Rod, then I'll say goodbye first. Juha and bid farewell and led everyone away towards the direction outside the school. Before leaving, Ryoko Takushima couldn't help but glance at Rod again, silently recording the appearance of this man in his heart. This is the first time she has seen Juha and show such respect to people other than Lord Shinfong. You should know that Juha, as the strongest disciple of the Sword Saint today, holds a second place in the swordsmanship circle only to a group of senior practitioners. Among the younger generation, it holds a leading position. But it was this kind of Juhan who was so respectful to Rod, who was of similar age, as if facing a respected senior. This couldn't help but arouse some curiosity in Ryoko Takushima. Noticing her gaze, Rod smiled slightly, and the girl was startled, like a startled deer, quickly retracting her gaze. Next, let's search for the hidden zombie mother. Rod yawned and turned towards the opposite direction, delving deep into the campus. While walking, I took some time to open a chat group. Nami, little thief cat on the sea. Wow, are you all so skilled? Nami. Especially Mr. Rod, can humans really change the climate with their fists? March 7th. He's not a human, he's a monster. Butterfly Chanui. Xiao San can't say that. Rod is just as strong as a monster. Florian. He is indeed very powerful. Many dragon tribes do not have his strong physical body. Nami. If I were that powerful, I could have saved the village. Butterfly Chanui. Rod is very enthusiastic, you can try to ask for his help. Butterfly Kagami. Unfortunately, I don't have the ability to deal with that dragon in your world, otherwise I would have helped you. Nami. Is that okay? He doesn't seem to welcome me very much. When I joined the group just now, he didn't even bother with me. Florian. Maybe he's busy with something. Rod. When did another newcomer come? I just blocked the message and didn't pay attention. It wasn't until he opened the chat group that Rod realized that there was another newcomer in the group at some point. Judging from the title and nickname, if nothing unexpected happens, it must be Nami from the One Piece world. March 7th. Not long ago. Florian. I thought there was only Rod as a newcomer this time, but now it seems like there are always two newcomers each time. Nami. Hey, do you mean that Mr. Rod, like me, only joined the group today. Rod. Yes, and there's no need to use such formal honorifics. March 7th. That's right, that's right. We are a family that loves each other, just call us by any name you like. The boundless sea, the small boat swaying lightly. Nami instinctively shook the oar in her hand, her attention all focused on the chat group. To be honest, she was panicked when she just received an invitation from the chat group. I thought it was some unknown evil god who had entangled me and deliberately played a prank on her. But after careful investigation, she finally became convinced. Found the treasure. Everyone in the group possesses exceptional skills, even the relatively weak butterfly Kagami possesses extraordinary physical abilities. By contrast, her joining is more like a husky sneaking into a pack of wolves. However, anyway, let's try to ask him a favor. Nami's gaze focused on Rod's profile picture, 
as she had just learned something from the group. This man is the strongest person in the group, and his power is terrifying beyond her imagination. Before this, she had never imagined that someone could change the entire climate with their fists. That fierce fist style is even more terrifying, hundreds of times more terrifying than the wild winds of nature. The most terrifying storm is one that lifts up objects. Far from achieving the level of erasing material like Rod did. With a nervous heart, Nami typed a line of words, eagerly waiting for Rod's answer. Nami. First time meeting, I know I shouldn't say that, but I still want to seek your help. Nami. If possible, can I ask you to do something for me? I can give a lot of gold and treasure. Nami. Gold should be a universal currency in every world, right? Rod. Are you asking me to deal with Aaron? It's easy for me. Rod. But I'm not short of money. Nami's expression froze when she saw Rod's answer. Yes, how could someone with such strong strength value her little money? For a moment, Nami didn't know what to say, and she cursed her innocence in her heart. Nami. I understand. March 7th, hey, isn't Rod really planning to help little Nami? Butterfly Kagami. Perhaps he has his own considerations, after all, he seems to know some secrets. Florian. It's okay. If Rod doesn't want to take action, I can help. Florian. The fish man. Seems to be a quite interesting race. Rod. Don't misunderstand, I didn't say I wouldn't help. Nami. What do you mean? Rod. I can help you rescue Coco West Village. After everything is done, I need you to help me collect some demon fruits. Thank you, 15649, for the monthly pass from the big shot. Wishing everyone happiness and joy in 2024.